Hey, what's going on guys? I'm coming to you from a hotel in Edgewater, New Jersey. Uh, KJ, the baller, is in the background here. My wife's in the bathroom right now, but uh, I wanted to make a video for you guys. I got another great question, uh, and it's about what can pictures, uh, the gist of it, I can't read it because it's on my phone, I'm recording with my phone, but the gist of the question is what can pitchers learn from position players about throwing, and what can position players learn from pitchers about throwing? And that's a really interesting and, and uh, great question, I thought. Uh, so I wanted to make a video to answer that. Um, and the first thing is that for position player, position players, what you can learn from pitchers is, is that throwing or pitching, whether you're throwing to a base or pitching to a batter, it's all uh, physics, it's all biomechanics, it's all how you move, right? How you create energy from the ground, transfer it through your body and out through the ball and throw it and make it move to where you're trying to throw it, right? Now for a position player, obviously, you're gonna have a little bit of a, a, a different approach because you get to move your feet, right? Um, pitcher, obviously you gotta go through your delivery, your wind up or your stretch, right? So it, there's differences there. Uh, but the idea that position players can take from, because pitchers study pitching, throwing, pitchers study throwing so much, right? So pitchers tend to know a lot about throwing. So what can position players take from pitchers? Learn, learn the same thing they're learning. You know, pay attention to what they're talking about. Some things that are helping them to throw faster, or throw better, or throw more accurately. Uh, listen to those things because they usually have a better understanding of the throwing uh, than position players. Because I feel like position players don't really study it too often. They just they work on fielding the ball and, and stuff like that, and um, don't really work on velocity too much. Is uh, besides uh, on the in the gym and or off of the field stuff, which is good. It's definitely uh, needed and very, very important. Um, but you can learn some stuff from the pitchers about biomechanics and how you want to create energy and transfer it through your body, uh, through your kinetic chain and out your fingers through the baseball. So that's one thing uh, position players can learn from pitchers. Pitchers can learn from position players to be athletic because I see too many pitchers trying to be robotic, right? Uh, like, like I said, I think it's like a spectrum, you know, you got the pitchers over here who are crazy and, and, and think about mechanics and are working, tweaking every little thing all the time. And then you got position players over here who are just athletes and dive and feel that ball, get up and chuck it over to first base, right? They don't do a whole lot of thinking about their mechanics. Typically, some guys do, but you got a big spectrum here. So, you know, if we can close that gap and kind of meet in the middle uh, and pitchers can be more athletic and, and think about moving more fluidly and uh, moving better down the mound and not think about mechanics as positions so much and just kind of have better feel when they're throwing the ball because I think a lot of pitchers sometimes overthink it or try to overanalyze or try to overfix when something bad goes wrong in one pitch they go oh what do I got to do this pitch got to do that what do I got to do this you know you don't see a shortstop doing that right when a shortstop feels a ground ball and he he makes a bad throw in the dirt and the guy's safe. Um, he's like, ah, dang, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta get the next one. He doesn't do a whole lot of thinking about how he's gonna release the ball or he's gonna twist his body or anything. No, he's just like, all right, I gotta get this next one. Here we go. And you know, he feels the ball. It's not a whole lot of thinking involved. So I think we gotta kind of close that gap on both ends. Uh, position players can learn from pitchers and pitchers can learn from position players. Um, and just remember that it's about movement, how you move your body, transfer energy through your kinetic chain. And if you can learn the biomechanics, position players and pitchers, and you can be an athlete, position players and pitchers, and you can tie that all in together and then do your off the field training stuff, right? Cause that's important too. Uh, and tie all that in together, you're gonna be a, a deadly force when it comes to throwing objects, whether you're chucking rocks or chucking baseballs, uh, it's all the same, you know? We've been doing it for years. Humans have been throwing objects forever. You know, that's how they used to kill animals to eat. That's how we used to eat back in the day. So uh, it's a it's a very uh, natural thing to do. Um, and we just got to learn how to do it and be athletic when we're doing it and get better and better and better at doing it if you want to play at the next level. So I thought that was a really cool question. I hope I answered that uh, well enough for you. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, I'd love to talk to you down there. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.